This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to derive the difference rule for derivatives. So um, you'll notice here that I have the definition of what a derivative is. That's going to come in handy in a moment. So if we were to take a function h of x, and let's say h of x is comprised of two functions that are being subtracted. So in other words, it's like we're putting functions together to make a larger, more detailed function. So if I want to figure out what the derivative is of this function, this difference of functions, well, I want to use that definition that we have up there. Well, the definition says we're going to take h goes to 0. We're going to take the limit as h goes to 0. And we're going to replace first the x's with x plus h. So in other words, I'm going to go through this, and I'm going to replace that x with x plus h. Well, i got to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to replace that x with x plus h. All right, well, there's the first part. Then we've got to actually subtract the function. Okay, so if I, I got to subtract the function, I have to subtract h of x. Oops. Okay, now this is a common mistake because I'm not subtracting the whole function yet. Now I'm subtracting the whole function. Okay, and I got to put an h in the denominator. It's very common people leave off those. Uh, parentheses. Okay, so what happens if I do this? Well, let's do a little bit of a cleanup here. So if I were to clean this thing up, um, I would see that I've got f of x plus h. And if I'm subtracting f of x, that's a minus f of x. So I'm kind of shuffling around some terms here a little bit. Here's a minus g of x plus h. And I'm subtracting a negative, so that's a plus. g of x all over h. So I um, did a little bit of manipulation there. Now what I would like to do is to separate this into two separate fractions. So here's one fraction. I've got f of x plus h minus f of x, it's all over h. And then I have this other fraction, which is minus g of x plus h plus g of x all over h. may seem a little strange, but um, if I were to combine these two fractions together, which I can do since I have a common denominator, I would add these numerators together and I would be right back over here where we started. And remember, uh, for this entire thing, I'm taking the limit of this fraction as h approaches 0 and the limit of this fraction as h approaches 0. So I'm really doing two parts here. Now, one little detail here is that I can factor out a minus sign. So if I were to factor out a minus sign, this would be a, a difference this would be plus and this would be minus. Okay, so what would that look like? All right, I'm going to try to write small here to fit everything in. So, of course, the first part's going to stay the same. x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, and now again, I'm factoring out the minus sign. So I have a minus g plus h g of x plus h, that is. And here, if I factor out the minus sign, that's going to be a minus uh, g of x all over uh, h. Um, but remember, I am subtracting this entire fraction. So I'm subtracting this, which makes a negative. I'm subtracting a minus g of uh, x, which is a positive g of x. And I'm taking the limit of both of those fractions. Okay, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. I am running out of room. So I'm going to scroll down just a hair. And um, I think we're going to see something kind of interesting here because if you look at the first part, that is the definition of 
the derivative for the f function. Okay, so really this is f prime of x. That's the definition of the derivative. I'm taking the limit of this, and you can see that lines up with the definition of what the derivative of f is. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take the limit of h as h approaches 0 of this. And again, this right here, this part right there, that is the definition of g prime of x. Or in other words, the derivative, the first derivative of uh, g. And I've got a minus sign there. So we have the conclusion that I was looking for is that anytime you want to take the derivative of a difference of two functions, it is the difference of the derivative of the two functions. There you have it. It has been proven. So I would appreciate it if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our lessons, quizzes, and videos. Have a great day and take care. The derivative of the difference is equal to the difference of the derivatives.